What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here at PackersNews.com. I'm here with Michael Cohen of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel down in Orlando for day two of the annual league meetings. Michael, you spoke with Brian Gutekunst about the move to try to purloin uh, a cornerback away from the Chicago Bears, obviously a failed attempt to get Kyle Fuller. Uh, what did he have to say about uh, you know that attempt? So basically what he said was that as the Packers were getting ready to enter free agency, you know, whether it was late February or early March, they identified Fuller as a guy that was at the top of their board or near the top of their board in terms of players they thought could help them. And so when the Bears put the transition tag on him, that sort of stalled their plans a little bit and they went in other directions to see what else they could explore at the cornerback position. When they didn't find anything that they liked or when they were priced out on certain players, Gutekunst said they then went back to Fuller and said, OK, if we make an offer on this, which ties up a decent amount of cap space until the Bears make up their minds, um, is this something that would handicap us? In other words, do we have other deals in the works where we don't want to jeopardize those by putting in an offer sheet to Kyle Fuller that is going to take five days, essentially, for the Bears to file the paperwork on? And they decided, no, we don't have anything that we're going to endanger, so let's go for it. And he admitted that the chances were always going to be really low and really slim, but it was something that they thought was worthwhile because in their minds, they weren't risking anything. That's a fair account, I guess. I mean, especially when you consider the fact that the Bears ended up turning around and matching the offer in a, less than a few hours. Um, did he give any kind of indication as far as, obviously, they missed out on Fuller. They bought, brought back Tremont Williams. Are they still possibly searching the second slash third wave of free agency for any more cornerback help? Yeah, I think they are. And, and Gutekunst pretty much said as much because, you know, the, the young guys that they have, um, you know, the undrafted players, the, your Hawkins, your Pipkins, your Brown, those are guys that they're not necessarily counting on to be starters. Those are supplemental players. And so you're talking about Kevin King coming back off of a big injury. You're talking about Tremont Williams. I don't know what they're going to do with Devon House, but I feel like they might bring him back at some point. So they need more help. And that's pretty clear. And so whether it's the draft or sort of the the um, the entrails of free agency, if you will. You I think the Packers have to bring in somebody. There you go. All the latest from Orlando in the league meetings. Make sure you're checking out Michael's stuff at PackersNews.com. For Michael, I'm Aaron. We'll talk to you soon.